Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and the next installment of the IRF 520N MOSFET conversion for the 2SC1969 and today we're fitting it into a 121 chassis or this Ham International Concorde 2. So there's the 121 chassis that we all know so it's slightly different to the old 59. We need to remove one more component for this. So the components we need to remove is RV2, R43, R44 and obviously the 1969. So let's get those out. So there we have it. R43, R44 and the 69's gone. And obviously VR2, or RV2 is gone. So what we're going to need is the MOSFET. We're going to need a companion. We're going to need a 50k pot. And then we're going to fit them. So again, I've fitted the MOSFET to the heat sink with a new thermal pad and a metal screw and an insulating washer to insulate it. So that's how we install it between the TX8 volts from the old pot going to the junction of R43 and 44 and obviously the companion again uh, across gate and source. So on this one the bias is a little bit more twitchy than the 059. So the bias has to be around 4.1 volts on this one which I found is best. So once you've done this I strongly suggest putting the output onto a scope and having a look on the two-tone just to make sure that the bias ink is correct. So let's have a look at a correct bias which this is. Now there's an incorrect bias and as you can see the cutoff point was completely wrong there. Now that's what I found using 3.8 volts like the old 59 so we had to move this one up to 4.1 volts to get the correct bias so I'm just getting it on the scope and I'm trying at different levels and I'm just setting my two tone so I can get that point in the middle correct So, just going to adjust time base. Let's have a look at it in different, different views of it, should we say. Just so we can be absolutely sure that this is correct. And this looks normal now. There's no gap in the centre. And there's no flat top in either. So, for me, this is a good, a good correctly biased waveform. I'm just trying all different levels on the two tone just to see what happens. But yeah, that's good. The only thing I need to do now is an SSB test just to confirm that everything is good on air, but it should be because it looks absolutely correct. So there's FM, 4 watts roughly, and onto sideband, just over 11 watts, perfectly acceptable, perfectly normal for this transceiver. So everything seems to be working normally, so just need to give it a good test now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this short video. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, join my Facebook group and we'll see you in the next video.